Creating an application that can acknowledge EDI files with a 997 is very easy to do with the use of the framework EDI component. First, we declare an EDI document object and acknowledgement object. Then we instantiate the EDI document object and then load the 997 ceph file, which will be used for constructing the 997 EDI file. We also have to load the ceph file needed to validate the EDI file that we have received and are going to acknowledge. In this case, the EDI file is an 835x091. So we have to load an 835x091 set file. Next, we instantiate the acknowledgement object. Here in this OAC object is where the EDI 997 will get automatically constructed. And then we enable its 997 functional acknowledgement property. If there are any properties that need to be set, we do them before we load the EDI file. In our program, we've set the starting number for the interchange control of the acknowledgement file to start at 1001 the group control number to start at 10, and the transaction set control number to start at 1. Then we load the EDI file. This would be the file that we've received from our trading partner and want to acknowledge by sending a 997. After loading the EDI file, we have this loop here that traverses through the entire file one segment at a time so that the Freddy component can validate each one of them and at the same time build the 997 acknowledgement EDI file. At the end of the loop, we can then save the acknowledgement object to a file with the save method. Or get it as a string variable with the get EDI string method. In this example, once we get the acknowledgement string, we display it on screen. So let's compile and run this program. And here's the 997 acknowledgement string. Now wasn't that easy?